Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Court Clopping joins us now. Court, so nice I haven't had to use the heater, air conditioning. It's been pretty pleasant out there. Yeah, you normally don't get this much of the in-between yeah. yeah. season in Northern California. So it is kind of nice yeah. for that reason, but we'd really love to see some of that rain. Yeah. And moving forward in the forecast, we've got some interesting things happening as we head towards your weekend and early next week. So we do want to break that down for you. Getting a live look overhead right now, we are seeing some clouds moving in. And what that's going to do is leave us with some modest overnight lows. So fairly moderate temperatures overnight. We also have a modest cooling trend ahead for the next several afternoons. Remember yesterday, we were setting high temperature records in Redding and Red Bluff. That wasn't the case today, and we still see temperatures cooling off over the next few days. Partly cloudy, but dry through Friday. And then Friday evening, we see that chance for coastal showers returning. Not so much for the remainder of Northern California. Satellite and radar showed you mostly clear skies becoming partly cloudy this evening. We're going to see those clouds really filling in later on tonight. High pressure is still the main dominant feature in your forecast. You can see this arc in the clouds off the coast. That's showing you that ridge of high pressure. It's acting as the buffer zone. So over the next few days, what we're going to see is these low pressure areas moving through to the north. They're going to leave us with a modest cooling trend on the way. High pressure breaks down a little bit. And then Friday, we're much cooler than what we're seeing today. So Thursday, Friday, a big cool down. Showers mostly impacting areas to our north. A slight chance for some showers along the coast on Friday afternoon and evening. After that, high pressure builds back in for the weekend. Really heating us up quite a bit. We'll be back to the high 70s to low 80s by Sunday. And then that's moving off to the east by early next week. And we have a chance for showers. Take a look at this low pressure hanging just off the coast. Latest model data keeping that off the coast and not so much in our neck of the woods, but we've seen those models going back and forth. So there's still a chance for showers late Monday into early Tuesday. Temperatures tomorrow ending up in the mid 60s in the northern mountains. Partly cloudy skies will end up in the mid 60s for the Sierra as well. Foothill areas expecting high 60s to low 70s for your Wednesday afternoon. And if you're in the valley overnight, it's going to be pretty mild out there. Mostly mid to high 40s overnight with some clouds moving through for the morning. So it doesn't look like you're really going to need to bundle up all that much tomorrow morning for the afternoon. Still above average mid 70s on the way for the valley. Mid Valley areas, mid to high 40s overnight, topping out tomorrow afternoon in those low to mid 70s. So not quite as warm as today, but still around 10 degrees above average, almost 10 degrees above average, that is, for this time of year. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast, where your weekend is always in view. 74 degrees for Chico on Wednesday, 70 on Thursday and Friday, then back to those mid 70s this weekend as high pressure builds back in. That starts to break down Monday, and then we see that chance for showers on Tuesday. That's about a 10 to 25 percent chance for showers with low 70s. Reading 77 degrees on Wednesday, low 70s Thursday and Friday. So a pretty substantial cool down when you expect or when you talk about the fact that we got into the mid 80s yesterday. Then we're in the high 70s on Saturday, low 80s Sunday. Great conditions outdoors for activities this weekend. Mid 70s Monday, and then that slight chance for showers and high 60s on Tuesday. We should be. This time of year in the mid 60s, so that's a little closer to what you expect to see this time of year, and it's really not bad news. We'd love yeah. to see a little cool down on the way. Yeah, and especially the overnight lows. I mean, we're staying away from freezing, at least in the valley. Oh, we're nowhere near freezing. Yeah. We're we're going to stay closer to 50 degrees yeah. overnight than we are to 40 degrees. So warm overnight. Thank, Thank you, Corp. Well, it is the best.